Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are taking a look at iOS 7 on the iPad. This beta was just released today with iOS 7 beta 2 and we're going to check out everything involved here. It's got the same look and feel of iOS 7 on the iPhone, but I'm going to just walk you through most of the apps here and give you a feel on how they look inside. So the first one we're going to check out here is FaceTime, and if we launch that, you can see that we have uh, just a black layout with the camera on the side. It actually kind of reminds me of the FaceTime app for Mac, a little similar to the one that was previously on the iPad as well. Next here, we're taking a look at the calendar, just a full-size blown-up version of the calendar on the iPhone. Slight layout tweaks, nothing much going on in here, though you have the month view and then you can go and tap on the year view to get like a full year view. I think it looks clean and simple though. Here we have the photo library and of course I don't have any photos in here and honestly there's not really much to show you about the photo library anyways. It all looks pretty much the same as the iPhone. It really does look like a blown up version of the iPhone software. Now inside of the camera you'll find a slightly different layout. Um, we do still have that big round button on the side to take pictures and we have this little swipe to change modes here as you can see me doing switching between video photo and the squared mode and then if we switch back to one we can take a picture here. Let's just snap a picture real quick. And just as you'd expect, you can tap on the photo in the corner to go into the full size image and you can even pinch to like drag it away. So not much change is happening here aside from what we've seen already in iOS 7. I don't have any contacts in here so this is going to be blank but I mean you guys kind of get the idea it's very very similar to the iPhone version. So if you're expecting a big difference you're not going to get it. Now we do have this live clock on the iPad as well so the little hands move with the time. But let's go ahead and check out maps here. and. Like I keep saying over and over again, you're not really getting much different than what you already saw on the iPhone for iOS 7. There's not any drastic design changes at this point anyways in the game. It is an early beta, so there could be things added and changed in the future, so keep that in mind. But I definitely felt it was important to walk all of you through all of the iPad applications just so you can get an idea. And here is the notes application. Uh, I'm really liking all of the white in iOS 7. Maybe that's just me, but there's a lot of clean white backgrounds. It makes things really easy to read and, and it just seems more organized to me, in my opinion anyway. Uh, let's jump into the reminders app here. And as you can see, we have the same like sidebar layout and we do have our different lists here. Now, not much special happening inside of the iPad Reminders app. Again, we really don't have much that's changed here. I wish there could be more that I would show you in this video, but unfortunately, Apple really hasn't revamped anything um, in comparison to the iPhone version of iOS 7. Now, we do have Photo Booth, which is not on the iPhone, and as you can see, we have our different filters laid out in this, like, Brady Bunch style grid here and you can tap on a filter to go straight to it and no pinch to zoom or anything in here but you can take a picture easily and then you also do have the photo filters button to go back to this filters page and you can flip the camera around using the button in the corner. So the next thing we have here is Game Center and I'm not signed into my Apple ID so it really won't do much good for me to show you this but uh, it is your typical game center layout as you saw in the iPhone iOS 7 layout and here we have newsstand. As you can see we have a nice clean transparent background and a store button in the corner if you'd like to purchase other publications for your newsstand. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at here is iTunes and if we open that up here again you see this uh, minimal white layout everywhere. Everything is just whitened out and it's kind of got this bright clean layout to it and that's just my opinion maybe some of you don't like all the uh you know clean white look but that's kind of been apple sting for a while now the one thing i do really like is the notification center i love how it's full screen it's not just this little nub that you pull down it's a full layout and then here we have control center as well which is essentially what you thought it would be. <laughs> all the controls are exactly the same here. You have all your toggles and everything in the middle. If you double press the home button, you'll bring up the multitask switcher here, the app switcher, and you can swipe away these cards just as you can on iPhone. It's definitely nice to have the screenshots, but they are kind of useless, uh, you know, in, in all reality. They're kind of useless, but let's go ahead and check out how Siri works. Hello, how are you? Excellent. 
What's your name? My name is Siri. But you knew that already. So Siri has a nice, clean voice. Now, there is one thing that I really do like about having full screen Siri here, and that is because we can search the web and we have a full screen layout for our web results. And you can even do things like tap on pictures to uh, bring them up right inside of Siri here. And then you can tap on the back button to get out. But this is basically iOS 7 for iPad in a nutshell. And there's not a whole lot different here. Uh, it's really exactly what you would expect. If you haven't seen the iPhone video demo for iOS 7, go ahead and check that out. And be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. This is Dom, and have a great day.